When they are revising, students need to be focused on the content of their essay. They need to make sure that they are actually fulfilling the goals of the assignment. In my case, I want to make sure that they have picked one place on campus and are focusing on two to three aspects of that place. To help students check the content of their essay and revise, I provide them with an assignment sheet and a detailed rubric. I share these documents with students using a course management system, in my case, Moodle. Once a document has been posted on the Moodle, then students can download and access this document whenever they would like. This allows them to go over the content of their essay and make sure that it fits what the assignment sheet is asking them to do. Once the essay has been revised, I have students focus on editing. Editing is when students should focus on major grammar and spelling errors. There are a lot of tools to help students do this. My favorites are Grammarly and Spellcheck. Grammarly is a system that monitors student writing and offers feedback on errors they make in spelling, grammar, and punctuation. I really like it because it doesn't just fix the mistake, it also gives an explanation so that the student can learn why what they typed is wrong. There's a free version of Grammarly that students can download, or they can also purchase a more in-depth version of the software. Spellcheck is a similar tool to Grammarly that's built into most word processing tools. It underlines mistakes in spelling and grammar and suggests corrections. I always tell my students to look at the spell check feedback, but to still look for errors themselves since the program sometimes misses errors. The final step in the writing process is proofreading. Proofreading assumes that students have already found all of the major errors in an assignment and that they are now focusing on little things like punctuation and formatting. At this step, I encourage students to use the Purdue OWL website again, this time focusing on their pages on MLA formatting. This style of formatting might be new to students, and Purdue OWL has detailed instructions and lots of examples for them to look at. Proofreading might also be when students ask someone else to look at their draft and give feedback. I have students use Google Docs or email to share their writing with their peers or with me.